Here we go, Cerise in GVG, she's back and we're taking a look to see if she's still worth it. Uh, so the great thing about Cerise here is that she has pretty high base speed. Uh, so more than likely you're going to outspeed the opponent uh, in GVG. And then she also has that invincibility on the S3 uh, or after she S3. So it gives her that survivability, right? So even though uh, we are decreased hit chance, uh, it, it really doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter because she's not DPS. Uh, after you S3 with her, she gets a chance to uh, go, either go with her S1, uh, which brings in a dual attack, or you can stun uh, with the S2. So it provides a lot of utility here. So we brought in our girl Chu uh, because she's been doing work. Uh, we rebuilt her. We put her on pen set. I think speed pen set. Uh, and she's actually been doing really, really nice. Um, you know, her EE does make it so that uh, her S S1 procs into her S2, which is pretty nice. Uh, it It's really nice when it works off of a counter, uh, which is pretty insane. But uh, her S2 here, Cerise, Luminous Explosion. You have the chance to stun for one turn and make them unable to be buffed for two turns. Uh, which is potentially nice uh, if you want to lock down a unit. The S1 brings in a dual attack and also increases her combat readiness. So her kit is pretty loaded. Uh, we're gonna go S1 into. We're gonna go into the Ravi. Maybe we can bring in the Chu. We don't bring in the Chu, uh, but we do get the defense break because we are on Miss Confile. And as you can see, we're able to lap and go again, which is uh, is kind of nuts. Uh, so we're going to go S1 into, I think we'll go again into the Ravi. Maybe we can bring in the Chew this time. No, uh, Haste, Haste, ML Haste is the one today. So we're just going to go S1 again here. We'll take out the Arby. Arby going to come back. He's going to S3, but we got our boy ML Haste, so uh, not too much damage here. Can we get some counters? Okay, no counters from the Chew. Uh, we'll go S1 here. Uh, maybe we can proc a, an S2? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, we'll go S3. We'll just S1 the Crow here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stun lock the Crow. Okay. Uh, so we got some CR push there. We're going to stun lock the Crow. Or should we just S3? I think we just S3 because we're going to lap. So we'll S3, restrict, um, and then... Uh, we should be able to stun lock the crowd. So we're going to go S1 into the RB. All right. Very nice. And then we're going to soul burn. And her soul burn is also kind of broken. It ignores effect res. So if you're worried about stunning a high effect resistance target, you can just soul burn and guarantee yourself uh, to get that stun. So there we go. We got the stun. Uh, we're going to go with the S3 here, and we're actually going to lap that crowd one more time uh, and then be able to bring in a dual attack. Uh, maybe we can bring in Chu this time, finally. Come on. Oh, there we go. Brought in the Chu. Get the kill with the Chu. And there we go. Next fight up, same team. We're going to go first because, of course, we're going to outspeed with the Cerise. Now, my Cerise isn't insane speed. I think she's like 280 speed, uh, 285 speed. So here... What we can do is S3, uh, but this Lilius is going to cleanse, right? Uh, but instead of S3, we can start off with the stun. So we can try stunning this Lilius since she is not on immunity. Uh, so if we get the stun here, we got the stun and the defense break, which is pretty big. Uh, that Arby's going to go. He's probably going to blind everybody, uh, but it's fine. Okay. Okay. So now what we can do is uh, we can S3 now, decrease the buff duration with the S3 here. Resistance, okay. Uh, we're going to go S3 because uh, we got crit damage buff. So crit damage by 50%. Uh, let's see if we can do some decent crit damage here. Uh, and then we'll heal up the Cerise. So that's kind of the thing. If you do decide to go with the S, with the S2... Uh, you do kind of open yourself up, right? But that's fine because we got S3. We're going to get some healing in. Uh, we're actually going to go into the Lilius since she's actually uh, almost about to go down here. We'll be able to take her out, get some healing in. 
uh, and then actually go with the S1. So we'll go S1 into the RB here. Dual attacks, that's fine. That, that's okay. Cerise goes down, uh, but we should be able to take them out. We'll go S1 here. He's going to come back. Not do too much damage here because we got uh, all the buffs. All the buffs. No counters from the Chu, that's fine. We'll go S3 into the RB one more time. And then we should be able to take them out. Counters? No counters from the Chu. Alright, um, we'll go S2 Soul Burn into this one. Do 12k damage, not too bad, not too bad. And then we should be able to take him out. And that's pretty much GG, right? So Cerise kind of putting in work. All right, last one up, Cerise on defense. So if we get out sped here, that's fine. Uh, we got com Conquer Lilius. Uh, we did bring Violet. Uh, we brought some counters in. So hopefully we can still go first or not. Or <laughs> Or not. <laughs> uh, or we just get destroyed here. That's that's fine too. That, that's okay. <laughs> There's a chance. There's a chance. We can still come back. Uh, no. We did get some bombs on the Violet. That's fine. Okay. Able to survive. So now we can go. <laughs> that's the problem with speed. Okay. We're going to go S3 here. They're all attack broken. That's fine. Uh, we'll still go with the S3 so that we can get Vigor. We'll actually get a barrier here. So, um, who do we provoke? I think we provoke the Ravi. Well, she's going to go into us anyway, right? Um, I guess we can provoke this one. That way she doesn't go on the Violet. Uh, we're going to go S3 here. And then we should be okay, right? Okay, bomb. That that's not good for us. Um, our Lilius is gonna go down. We need to take out the Cerise. So we're gonna go S one here. We take out the Cerise. That's great. All right, we're able to survive. Maybe one more. Yeah, we'll go Apple. We're gonna lose the Vigor buff, but that's fine. And uh, we're gonna go here. We might not kill, that's fine. But she goes down. Uh, we'll just go S1 here. We need to start working on her, hopefully Dream Blades. Okay, Dream Blades counters. Very nice. And then now we can hit her with the S3. So on defense, she can definitely outspeed you if you don't have the speed gear. All right, so here is Cerise. Uh, we got uh, Molas on the S2. Uh, the minus one turn cooldown, I think, is the most that you need. Uh, and then we got up to the plus four for the 15 effect chance just to get it to 100% chance to decrease speed and restrict for two turns. Uh, that's pretty much all you need from Molas. You honestly don't even need on the S1. However, if you do want to put Molas into the S1, uh, she does get an additional 5% combat readiness. If you're going insanely fast, this of course will definitely help you out, but I don't really think that it's necessary. As I mentioned, she's only 280 speed, 285 speed with everything else into effectiveness and then some random stats. Uh, this is the fastest gear that I can put on her uh, without having to strip all of my other speed gear. My slowest piece here is going to be this free to play ring. Uh, you can buy this from the shop, 12 speed with effectiveness. That's been the highest that I can get. Uh, but everything else is okay speed, 17 speed, 21 speed, 18 speed. Uh, the neck here is 20 speed. Uh, of course, you want her as fast as possible, like you saw before. Uh, that Cerise on defense was able to outspeed our Conqueror Lilius, which is also only 285 speed because that's the fastest that we can get, right? Uh, but she is on Miss Confile, so Miss Confile is, I think, very, very strong on her. It's a 60% chance to decrease defense. Now, this is a limited artifact, uh, so you might not be able to pick this up if you're trying to pull for her. If you don't have Miss Confile, Guiding Light is another huge artifact that you can place on her. 
and it just gives her even more survivability. But overall, I think Cerise is still very, very solid for a limited unit, so I highly recommend that you pick her up. If you don't have her, let me know your thoughts about Cerise in the comment section below. Like always, if you haven't enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.